Most dog lovers think they've never seen a bearded collie. But they're no secret in Hollywood. Actor Tim Allen turns into one in The Shaggy Dog. And it's TV's beloved Brady Bunch family who had a bearded collie named Tiger. The beardies, as they are affectionately referred to, are often confused with Old English sheepdogs. The easiest way to tell the difference is the tail. Bearded collies have tails, sheepdogs don't. Bearded collies have large, soft, expressive eyes. The color of those eyes often matches the coat. It's almost like they have like a watercolor painting sort of look. Adult beardies are between 45 and 55 pounds, and their oval-shaped paws are very well padded. The beardie is a descendant of European herding dogs, and it's believed that at least the Magyar Commodore and the Polish Lowland Sheepdog are a big part of the beardie's ancestry. All beardies are born with dark coats. As they grow, they gray out. They may change shade throughout their life, but there'll always be a shade of their birth color. I think that the bearded collie should actually be called the bearded bouncy collie. Bearded collies need plenty of space, both indoors and out. Although beardies can be expected to have a good long life, there are some health issues other than arthritis and cancer. They often have hypothyroidism, and they also have Addison's disease. A condition resulting in depression, irregular heartbeat, and dehydration. As far as grooming, start when they're puppies and get used to it. The dog should be bathed every six to eight weeks, but it's important, daily brushing and combing. As affable as they are, bearded collies are very strong-willed. So it's important to start training early and be persistent. These dogs need a job, and if you don't give them a job, they'll find a job. And the job they find, you probably won't like. Beardies are a wonderful family pet, but because they can sometimes play rough, they should be supervised around small children. So to recap, the bearded collie needs plenty of space. Generally very healthy, but should be checked for a number of possible illnesses. Grooming? Lots, but it's worth it. And training is a must. Definitely a good pet for the right family, but remember, it's starving for your company and affection.